One other thing that some of our joint customers of Sixth Sense and Lean Data like to do is to utilize Sixth Sense's technology specifically with their intent data and use that to trigger Lean Data routing. So let's walk through how you would set that up. So within Lean Data, you'll notice that there is a Sixth Sense new intent and a Sixth Sense updated intent trigger node. You can utilize this trigger node to initiate account routing based off of some Sixth Sense criteria. And the way this would work is it works similarly to any other trigger node or entry node. So I'm going to use this Sixth Sense updated intent entry node. And opening this up, you can see that it's configurable in much the same way as your other trigger nodes. But specifically, we're going to be using it for Sixth Sense fields. So what I'm going to do is for my conditions, I am going to select uh, Sixth Sense account buying stage. Feel free to use whatever criteria that you would like to indicate that you would like um, a Sixth Sense account to initiate routing. And just designate what criteria need to be met to initiate that routing. So for us, since this is an updated intent trigger, I'm going to initiate account router whenever the Sixth Sense account buying stage equals, for us, it's going to be decision or purchase. And feel free to use your own buying stages or your own fields for this purpose. And I'm going to say here, I'm going to use six cents, six cents, decision, or purchase. Okay. And that's going to be my entry criteria. And you can obviously also add some more trigger conditions if you wish. But we'll keep it simple just for the purposes of our example here. So now I have an entry point here. Accounts will get triggered through this entry point when they reach one of those statuses or one of those buying stages. Now, something else that you would want to do is you would want to check to see if that account is otherwise eligible to get reassigned. For example, you probably want to reassign an account if it's owned by an admin who's not actively working it or if it's owned by some inactive user. So let's go ahead and check that. And this, what this is going to do, it's going to prevent us from routing an account that doesn't need to be routed. If it's already actively being worked by an account executive, you don't want to take it away from them. So we'll move into this true false node. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to create my conditions here. Firstly, I'm going to look for my admin. So if the account owner ID is equal to my admin ID or If the owner active flag is false, those are the two scenarios in which I would want to actually take a record away from the owner and route it to some active user. So I'm going to just label this accordingly by admin or inactive. And again, you can have your own criteria. Maybe you have a different placeholder user instead of your admin that you use for these purposes. And I'm just going to leave the targets open for now. So now we have a check that looks for owned by admin or inactive. If it is, let's go ahead and send this to a round robin. So I'm going to pull in a round robin node, and I can select a round robin that has my account executives in it, for instance. So let's just go ahead and pick a round robin here. And I'm going to pick the, let's just do sales rep account round robin. That sounds good. So we'll use that one. And I'm just going to ensure that this is for the sales rep round robin and label that accordingly. Great. Now I need to figure out what to do in the case that uh, an account is already owned by an active user. So what we could do is uh, simply end it right there, or we could even do something along the lines of sending a notification. Okay, and this notification could be customized to send some kind of six cents notification. Hey, by the way, this account is, has reached a certain six cents, six QA uh, buying stage or something like that. So you can send that dis, uh, notification out. And it may also make sense to have that same notification go out for reps who get assigned a new six QA um, account. So you can also send that to the same notification or you can have a separate one as well. It's really up to you. Now, this is one way that you can utilize the Sixth Sense updated intent trigger node for these purposes.
I hope that helps.